go out there in TV land. of it and a small video to show you what my plans are as far as my trailer is concerned putting it on the uh, mini mate uh, I got tired of buying ice and worrying about whether or not my stuff was going to be staying cool do during the day so I decided to go ahead and buy one of these 12 volt uh, uh, mini cooler refrigerator type deals it's uh, as you can see it's a bodega and uh, I can't remember exactly what the uh, uh, cubic feet is but I'll mention it later on in the video all right so let's get busy unboxing it So anyway, like I was saying, I got tired of buying ice and also worrying about whether or not I had enough ice in there to keep my cooler cold for the day. Um, I'm sure if you've ever done much camping, you know what I'm talking about as far as worrying as to whether or not you have ice to, to make it through the day. I did find uh, those Bucky uh, gas stations you can get ice for 99 cents uh, for a 20 pound bag of ice which was pretty cool at the time but I think this is going to resolve that problem okay so there it is in all its glory and it's got a handle over here that locks and as you can see down inside there's two removable baskets my plan is to plug the cooler in the night before I go, get it cool, and then um, take these baskets in the house and pack all my stuff in and bring them back out here and just drop them down in. And then um, put this on my on my front of my trailer. Hopefully it's not too big. It is pretty good size. I've also got a plan for um, uh, water uh, I got a, a rain cover in mind to, to put over it, and I'll get to that later on in the video. Anyways, there it is. I'm going to lift it out of the box now. Well, I moved the party to my garage, and this is the new cooler. Here's the, the one I was using. You can see it's a little bit longer of a cooler. Than what I was using and a little bit wider about the same height though <clears throat> so I on the front of my trailer here and these are the brackets I use to hold my cooler and um, sorry about the bad video so I moved the brackets out a little bit to give room to for the new cooler. Fits on there pretty good. Width wise, height wise. And I think that'll, I think that'll travel well. I'm gonna work on running some 12 volt. That's my next project, running 12 volt to it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna come off the plug up here or run it out of the trailer off of the battery with the solar panel that I've got to keep to keep the battery charged enough to run the cooler. So we'll we'll see how that goes. 
I know once I get set up, obviously I'll be using the, the solar panel with the charger and the battery. But going down the road, I'm not exactly sure whether I'm going to use uh, what's coming off the bike or out of the trailer. We'll see. Talk to you later. This is a uh, clip of the Amazon listing on the Bodega. It's a 12 volt refrigerator, portable freezer, cooler that I bought. It's 36, I'm sorry, 38 quart. Uh, it runs on 12 volt or 110. Um, it also comes with an app that you can download. I'll show you some screenshots of it in a little bit. Well, I'll show you some here in a minute. Anyway, um, if you notice, there's a coupon that you can clip to get $70 off of the price. Uh, once you get to your, if you're an Amazon Prime member, that is, I assume. But so it makes it three oh seven ninety nine plus tax, which is a great deal. Uh, the cooler I've taken it to Tennessee and uh, used it in my car, and it it keeps the stuff frozen. I mean the the, the frozen side is awesome, and the refrigerated side is awesome as well. So uh, I'll go ahead and review the app for you too. So this is the app that I downloaded, and you can see it's uh, called Coo or Car Fridge Cooler Freezer, and you can get it on Apple. Uh, I'm not sure about the other Android apps. This is the <clears throat> the app itself running, and if you look there, you'll see current time or temperature is 62 degrees. This was right when I turned it on at 7:30. Here's the left side. Current temperature of it is 62 also. You can switch back and forth between the right and the left sides. Uh, this is the right side again. It's uh, an hour and a half later and it shows a temperature of 9 degrees. And the left side um, here is 39 degrees. And the perspective temperature would be 40 degrees on the left side. So it's down pretty close to where it needs to be. So I decided to um, put my cooler, plug it into the battery while I'm going down the road. And uh, I thought I would show, this is my solar panel that's plugged in. And it's a, uh, a two prong plug, it plugs into the camper. So I bought a three prong plug in order to uh, I can get that plug back in, but I brought a three prong plug so that I won't get confused as to uh, as to what um, I'm plugging in. I don't want to plug in my cooler where my uh, solar panel is and I don't want to plug my solar panel in where my uh, refrigerator goes because I'll be feeding 12 volt to this plug and that's going to be feeding my battery while I'm going down the road. So I wanted to make sure and not get confused. I just bought a three plug, a three prong plug, aviator plug. Here's the uh, plug itself of where I'll plug in the cooler at. And it, it'll plug in to my three prong. I'm going to put it on probably on this side. And um, then it will plug into the cooler down here. In order to uh, uh, do that, I wanted to have an extra uh, 12 volt plug just in case I decided to travel in the car. So I bought another one, I'll show you it. This is the 12 volt cord that came with the, uh, the cooler. You can see here it comes with a uh, cigarette lighter plug and then this plugs into the cooler. I already cut about a foot and a half off of the one that I bought. It's right here. Uh, so this will be my outside plug for my cooler to plug into the camper. This will plug into the refrigerator. I'm going to put that one plug that I just showed you on the, uh, 
on the end of this to be able to plug into the cooler. You have to solder these in. They, um, this little thing here pops out. When you, when you do this, you want to make sure and put this all on, on the cord itself and then solder this on. But you need to make sure that you put the positive on the right side. So I'm going to put the positive on the uh, one side and negative on one side. And then I'll do that same thing on the inside of the trailer where this little plug here will come through at. It has to be soldered as well. Uh, and then it'll plug in as such. So it'll plug in like that on the outside of the trailer. And all this will come up here and be, be hooked in. I'll show you as I go along how that works. I've got this little tester here that has two lights on it. One shows you whether or not this piece is connected to the positive and this piece is connected to the negative. I don't know if you can see me or not. I can't see. But one, one of those lights will light up when you have the positive and one of them will light up when you have the negative. I plug this cord into my uh, cigarette lighter inside my house or inside my camper so I can test it to be able to test whether or not I'm using the positive or not. And you can see right there, the lights lit up and that's on the positive side. So that tells me that this left side of that plug is the positive and the right side is the negative. So I thought I would show you soldering this plug together, getting this plug on here. What you want to do is just trim a little bit of that wire off of it for your plug. Probably just a smidge more than that. And then the same thing here. look pretty good so then twist them up and I said the positive is on the right hand side or left hand side as you're looking at it so this wire here is the positive and what I want to do is this is the plug that will go into the, the camper into this plug here that goes on the camper so what I want to do is figure out, I guess, first of all, I'm going to use the two top ones, but I need to make sure. Which ones are going to be the top. So there's two notches in this thing and they have to line up inside there. There's a notch there and a notch there. So, So these two top ones here will be the ones that uh, the juice flows through. So again, uh, left side is positive. So I'm going to put this on the left side looking at it from the outside of the camper. And what you want to do is, this is called solder flux. And it's what basically is like helps the wire stick to what you're soldering. So you dip it in some of that, tap your wire down on where you're gonna be soldering. And I normally like to get that hot just a little bit before I apply the solder. And then I can lay my solder up there. Just takes a little bit of solder, it don't take a whole lot. Solder. 
sometimes when you're soldering, you almost need three hands to get her done, but. It's on there a little bit, but I'm going to try to put some more solder on it. There we go. So that's got the first wire, which would be my positive feed. And you can see it's pretty well soldered on there now. I'll tighten that wire back up just a little bit. Dip it in some flux. And it goes right back on the, right on there. And I'll solder it up. So there's that. And you can see they're both they're both pretty well soldered. I'll, I'll wrap some black tape around there just to keep those from shorting out. And that'll be good. This will be my plug that I'll use to plug in my, my refrigerator to my camper. So my next step is to drill the hole. And I've got a a hole saw that I'll be using uh, to put my hole in here. Basically, just want to find where you want it inside the tub and then you know, make sure because you don't want to drill a hole that you don't want. <laughs> So there I've got my hole. This is the wire that I cut that one plug off of that I was just working on. And it'll go through the hole. I'll just shove it through the hole and we'll go back outside and do some work. So I got my wire coming through that hole that I just drilled out. And here it is, here's the bare end of it. What I'll need to do now is strip those wires and solder this plug in on there and it'll go in that hole right there. I'll have to drill some holes for my screws to hold it on there. But other than that, it'll be uh, ready to go. I'm inside the trailer here. <clears throat> this is my fuse box that I've got for my uh, battery. Everything that I do runs off of my fuse box and it's got five of these taken up right now. Here's that 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter plug that I uh, told you I bought. Basically, it's a cord that runs to the refrigerator. I'm just going to cut it off at the right length to reach inside my box, my fuse box. I'll hook one end to the ground and one end to the, uh, uh, the fuse <clears throat> so that I can uh, be able to uh, have power run back there on that hole I drilled. If you do very much uh, 12 volt wiring, you'll definitely want to get you one of these. Again, it has two lights on there. Whichever side this is touching with one with the light, it'll light up either positive or negative, showing you that this is touching the positive or the negative. So if I touch it here, let me turn it around for you, and here, that's showing that I'm hooked on 
uh, with this wire, I'm hooked on to the negative. I don't know if you can see it lit up or not, but that's the negative light that's lit up. So that means that if I put it on this one and touch it here, then I'm on the positive. So this tells me that this, this wire here is the positive. So I'm ready to start putting my plug on there to uh, have access to the out, uh, outside the camper. So once you get all wired up, here's your plug. Plug that one into the plug you just put on. Plug this into the cooler. And as you can hear, cooler fired up and started running. I took this picture just to show that I went ahead and labeled those, which one's the solar panel and which one's the cooler. So I know some of you are going to ask, what happens if it rains and I've got this cooler, which has a vent over here and this plug outlet and all these electronics? Well, I'm hoping I've got a solution for it. This is a backpack cover that I bought. It's a rain cover. I don't know how waterproof it is. It's awful light. I'm hoping it works. But my thought was to put it over the cooler. I definitely won't have it plugged in while I'm going down the road with this cover on here because that vent has to be open. My main objective is to cover this side over here, which you can see it's fully covered. And hopefully that will help keep the water out of the electronics. This is the extra items that I bought. This is the three pin uh, aviator plug and uh, it, ha it has both the uh, input and the, the male and the female. It's twelve dollars and sixty cents, and here's the twelve volt cigarette lighter uh, plug for the car refrigerator. Um, and you can do searches on Amazon for these. That one's seventeen ninety nine. And then the other item I bought was a, a waterproof backpack rain cover, and it was fifteen ninety nine. I hope this video helps, and uh, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. Hope uh, everybody enjoys the summer camping. And uh, if you got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to like this video. It helps to get other people to see it. And um, if you're not a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Hope to have a few more videos 